before we start talking about the tools that are found in Affinity Designer, let's talk a little bit about the interface. I have this set to right-hand mode right now because most of you will be using it in right-hand mode, and I want my screen to look as much like yours as possible. If it were in left-hand mode, everything would be reversed, so the things on the left would be on the right, and the things on the right would be on the left. So first off, on the left-hand side of the screen right here, this bar are all of the tools that we will use in Affinity Designer. On the right hand side over here are all of the studios. These are where we control the details of things in Affinity Designer. We can control things like color, layers, and effects. Along the top we see the menu. There's the back button, the get back, the document button, the edit button, and the persona buttons. We're in the vector persona, but there's also pixel persona and export persona. The bottom of the screen has a contextual menu. This will be based on your current tool and selection. There are a lot of gestures in Affinity Designer as well as the tools that you see on screen. Let's talk about the most common gestures so that you will know your way around. First, I'm just going to put something out on the screen here. One of the most important gestures that you will want to know is undo which is a two finger tap on the screen. To redo something, just tap the three fingers. Another set of gestures that you will use a lot is for navigation. Pinch out with two fingers to zoom in, and pinch in with two fingers to zoom out. Use two fingers dragged around on the screen to pan around the canvas. Hold on the canvas with just one finger to get a little contextual menu. This is similar to right clicking on a desktop. We'll talk about more gestures as we look at the different tools in Affinity Designer, but these are just a few to help you get started. In the next movie, we'll talk about the Move tool.